After living in Phuket for the last eight months, exploring all the beaches, having an amazing time with my family, time to drive two hours north to the next adventure, Khao Lak. Start to our road trip. We got Ollie back here. Two hours in the car. Transition? You want to do the hand? Hand transition? Yeah. All right, it's official. We are crossing the Sarasat Bridge. This connects Phuket to the mainland. Sarasin, please. Sarasin, okay. Rachel said it right. Bye, Phuket. And we got an hour left to go till Kaolak. <laughs> JW Marriott Kowalk! We officially made it! Saudi Kap! Good morning, Ali. So this is our first time in Kowalk. We're gonna be here at the JW for four nights, five days. We have multiple videos that I'm making showing you guys some awesome adventures out in Kowalk, but right now we're gonna check into the JW. We're stoked that we're staying here. You ready? He literally just woke up. <laughs> Ali and I are going to our room. Bye-bye! <laughs> All right guys, so we are in the pool access room, which is the most, I guess, requested room out here at the JW Marriott. So this is the beautiful bathroom. We got a tub right over here. And this is the room pretty much, guys. Really cozy, big bed. We got another bed for Meaty and another bed for Ali. So we got three beds, technically. I love the amount of space. And as I mentioned, it's pool access. And you have access to the pool, but it's super dark. <laughs> So you guys didn't come to watch this video about the room. We're gonna get some dinner. We're gonna catch you guys tomorrow because tomorrow is a very big and special day. Have a good night, guys. See you tomorrow. Good morning, guys. So this morning we were picked up by Wow Andaman right in our lobby and we made it out to right behind me, Kalak Beach. And today is a very special day. We're actually heading to the Similan Islands, which Rachel wanted to check out for a very, very long time. The thing about these islands, they're only open for about four or five months of the year. November through February or March, I believe. So you have a limited amount of time to get there. And besides heading to Similan Island, today's another big day. It's this guy's 10th birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Meaty. Thanks. <laughs> so we're taking him to Simlin Island. He's very lucky because today, technically, he has school. I never in my life have missed school to go on a trip or anything like that. Have you, babe? I don't think so. I don't <laughs> I've spoken to a lot of my friends. They're like, he's so lucky. I'm so excited. You I'm ready? I'm so excited. I'm so ready. You ready, buddy? Birthday boy? I'm so ready. Woo. It was established as a national park in 1982, and right now there's a total of 11 islands at the Similan. It's incredible for snorkeling, uh, diving, we might see some sea turtles, we might see some dolphins. He's seen the actual sharks out here, which we probably won't see, hopefully. But this is an exciting day. Media, you ready? I'm so ready. And we're... Hopefully no sharks. <laughs> hopefully no sharks. On our way to Similan. Welcome to the front, birthday boy. The special duty for people who sit in the front of the cab. You have to look outside. If you see some dolphins, just shout at me, okay? Okay. You call me. <laughs> okay, <I'm laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> we have an hour and a half till we make it to Simulant. Oh my god, look at this water. Clear water I've ever seen. It's so worth it already. So worth it. Luckily, I had a motion sickness pill. I needed it totally, but we made it to Ka Si, which means the fourth island of Simulan. Oh my goodness, this is why you come out here. This is amazing. We're the first boat that arrived here today. Woo! Woo! Oh my goodness, this water. I can't stand on the most clear water I've ever seen. Oh my god, this is paradise! Welcome officially to Kasi in the Samilan Islands! Woohoo! <laughs> We're getting destroyed! That's such a warm welcoming! This is amazing! Wow! So we're here for one full hour uh, and then we head to a snorkel spot, but the sand! This is some of the softest sand I felt in all of Thailand. It's literally like powder. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I mean, he's ready to first. just go in. Come back here first. We need to check our names on the island. 
So apparently you have to check into the island, sign in our names here. Again, this is the national park. Wow, so this is, this is our spot. We literally were dropped off right over here. We have about roughly an hour here. There's supposedly another beach similar to this, about a 10 minute walk on the other side. That's what the national park was telling us. But we found our spot. Woo -hoo, the water feels amazing. And look at this color. I don't even know why my shirt's on. I gotta get in the water. This water, A, feels amazing. B, it is so clear. I have never seen the water this color like ever. And then even like very shallow water, I can see lots of tiny fishes, at least like six different types of them, all colorful. It's just really pretty already. And this is the first stop. And this is the first stop. And Rachel decided to take one last swim because the ocean is a toilet, the largest toilet in the world. How's the bathroom, babe? <laughs> you like this island? I love it. This is the most clearest water I've ever saw in my life. You can't do what? I couldn't do it. <laughs> Our time is over. We're gonna get back to the boat. The next spot is a snorkel spot. Bye bye, beautiful island. On to the next one. All right, so the second stop, we're at island number seven. Four is right behind me. And we're gonna do a little quick snorkeling. We're not gonna stay too long here because of the waves, but we'll see how it looks. Woo! Welcome back, Needy. It took me 10 minutes to get back from where I went because the waves are so strong. <laughs> He went all the way out there. And for the second snorkel spot, it's not too bad. It's about five to 10 meters deep. You could see all the corals below. Unfortunately, the waves are a little strong, so I couldn't really dive too deep under, but uh, not a bad snorkel spot. I'm excited to see the rest. And they're saying right towards that beach is where some sea turtles lay eggs. So for us not to get too close, because if we actually intrude their area, they wouldn't swim back to that spot to lay their eggs. So we didn't get too close, but we didn't see any turtles. We didn't see any dolphins yet. Crossing our fingers. All right, after like 10 minutes, this is the second snorkel spot. This is also the official Simulin Island or island number eight. There's a rock right behind me that you can hike up to about 15 minutes, which I think we're gonna do for a beautiful view. And he said that we stopped here for a reason because the tides or the waves aren't too bad. Some people are getting seasick, so bring your seasick pills. And there aren't too many corals here specifically. However, there's a lot of fish, he said. But I wanna get to the beach so we can check out that viewpoint shortly. We were on the right tour when they serve ice cream on this boat. <laughs> Kap and Kap, thank you so much. You're welcome. This is incredible. Thank you, Wow Andaman. All right, so after a little bit of snorkeling, we made it to the beach area. We saw, I'd say, a good amount of fish. Midi, you said you saw a ton of fish. I saw like 10,000 total. 10,000 total. But look at this water, how it welcomes you. We have some lunch set up back there. We're gonna climb the rock after. It's even more beautiful than the photo. It's, it's even stunning. more beautiful. It's stunning. The photo can't do it justice at all. Meaty, we gotta get lunch. Let's go. <laughs> he just doesn't want to leave the water. It's hard to leave, guys. It's, it's really hard to leave. We just had an awesome little lunch that they set up for us and packed for us at the picnic tables. Now we have about a 15 minute hike and we're gonna see if this little viewpoint on Smilin Island is worth it. There's a big, oh, that's a big one. <laughs> All right, Meaty might not join us on the hike because he's down here. There's a lot of wasps though, I'm noticing. <laughs> ready for the hike? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Come to Thailand, especially for your first time. Not too many, again, tourists, especially international, besides divers, know about Simulan Islands. And they're saying that Simulan Island, specifically one of the spots that we passed just recently on the way here to this island, is a top 10 dive site in the entire world. So if you're a diver, if you're a free diver, if you love snorkeling, definitely come to Simulan. Try to make it on your checklist if you're coming out to Thailand, even for the first time. You're gonna go that way? Yeah, I'm gonna look. 
<laughs> There's like a stop right here and it doesn't look like you can hike up there. This says going down, but let's go up. <laughs> yeah. Race you to the top, Mom! <laughs> Rachel's saying there's some like makeshifty steps on that way. Uh, this is, she said it's like an unnatural path. I feel a little safer on these steps, honestly. Even though it says descent, maybe go up these ones. Confirmed from those guys, this is the only way up pretty much. They said it gets a little trickier, but I don't think it's too bad. This could be the right way, I think. We're almost there, guys. Oh, we made it. Holy cow. Oh my god, and our tour guide's up here waiting for us. Yeah. <laughs> Holy smokes. This, oh my god, look at that water. All right, so he said keep going up. We're gonna see how much better it is. Supposedly up there. Woo, you gotta be very careful. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, it's that, that route. Yeah, don't go this way. Go that way. <laughs> Welcome to the top. Woo. This is wild. <laughs> What do you think, Vidi? I don't think I've been in a place as beautiful as this. <laughs> yes! This is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. The hike wasn't too bad, honestly. Moderate, you could say, or pretty easy. But this is super beautiful. You just have to be careful. They have these like red little lines so you don't fall off the edge, so don't cross the red lines. Guys, this is the reason why you need to come out to Simulin. Besides the diving, the snorkeling, I love a good viewpoint. <laughs> I will never be able to forget this. Happy birthday, Mini! Ow! <laughs> this is highly recommended. Simulan Islands, if you guys are coming into Thailand, especially your first time, check it out. Totally beautiful. We have one more snorkel spot to check out, then we head back to, I almost said Phuket, but Kalawak. So we're actually gonna head down right now and then head to the last snorkel spot. So what do you think of the last one? It's amazing. It's more fish than like other stops that we had done. Yeah. And it's really beautiful. We have seen so many kinds of fish and the corals are more interesting than the last spots as well. Rachel got the snorkeling. She's wanted to come here for so long, so we made it happen. Thank you so much, especially for me, the birthday. You're welcome. He said he had the best birthday ever. That's good. And he's up there in the kid zone. <laughs> also known as the front of the boat. But right now we have about an hour and a half. We're going to head back to Kalak. I popped another seasick pill. I should pop one too. You should pop one too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what happens. All right, guys, we made it back to land, back in Kalak. We had an amazing day. What did you guys think? I love it. This is the best birthday ever. Best birthday ever. You had a good time, babe? Fantastic, amazing, totally worth every single moment. Guys, so it was around 2,800 Thai baht per person, which is around $77 per person. Includes lunch, totally worth it. Check it out when you guys come here. But right now we're gonna head back to the hotel because we have something special set up for the birthday boy. Is Ali back here? Ali's not. <gasps> what is this? Happy birthday, Meaty! Oh my god, yes! Thank you so much! Thank you so much, JW. Look at this squid game setup. Oh my god, there's even a little squid game cake. This is incredible. Look at how detailed everything is. It's supposed to say December 3rd, but okay. Can you give me like eight minutes to cut that out? <laughs> <laughs> sure. So this is something that we planned out. We set this up. They set up the entire room. A squid game theme. <laughs> you like it, Meaty? I love it. This is so amazing. I'm so happy that JW, thank you so much guys for setting this up. And this is what it looks like when there's sunlight. So we got here so late last night. I couldn't show you guys this pool. I love that the pool literally like wraps around the whole hotel. This is one of the biggest pools that I've ever seen. We've got an amazing Squid Game theme, especially something else coming later on. Squid Game party, let's just put it that way. I'm not supposed to say anything right now, he's right there. But on top of that, it's actually Persian night, so we're excited to eat some Persian food in about an hour, hour and a half. I'm not hungry yet, and after that, we're gonna be partying! <laughs> 
This is incredible. Thank you again so much, JW. The detail, everything on everything is just so cool. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Amazing day at Smolin Islands with Meaty for his birthday. Rachel loved it, I loved it. We have a special Squid Game party tonight, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's gonna be a ton more videos to come. Uh, another one out in Cal Lock in a couple days, which I'm really excited to show you guys the next spot. But if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Also, hit the subscribe button if you guys enjoyed videos like this. There's tons of videos around Thailand on my channel, including around the world. Comment down below also if we should check out some specific spots in Thailand you want us to see. Let us know, and uh, hit that notification bell, and we'll catch you in the next video. You ready for your Squid Game party tonight? Yes. Bye guys.